Welcome back to On Shelf Gaming. We were just about to listen uh, to Macho Man Randy Savage's country album, but we can't right now. Yeah, unfortunately. Because uh, the show came on, so we'll have to listen to it later. Yeah, we'll have to listen to it next time. <laughs> God, that's just the funniest fucking thing I can think of. What? The idea of... Because the, the Macho Man rap album is so bad. Yeah. So awful. Uh-huh. But the idea of him doing, like, a country or a soft rock album, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. God, somebody out there, uh, if you have a really good Macho Man Randy Savage voice, release a cover album of uh, soft rock and or country songs. Yeah. Sing uh, Hey Good Looking by hey, uh, Hank Williams. Sing uh, How Do You Like Me Now by Toby <laughs> Keith. Uh man, remember Toby Keith? I sure do. Good times. Totally. Remember the ghost ship in Wind Waker, completely unrelated? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> man, so much easier to dodge as adult Link. It you sure don't have to is. Really close. Man, you know what game this reminds me of? What? Elden Ring. Is that so? Yeah, Ocarina of Time really is just the Elden Ring of Zelda. Everyone's been calling it that the whole time it's existed. <laughs> you know, from Soft, if you're out there, and uh, you want to come on the show, we have we have a game pitch for you. It's uh, you take your you take your Dark Souls formula that you've honed and crafted over the last like decade or longer, uh, and you turn it into a farming sim. True. I'd play the shit out of that. Me too. If the storyline was you wake up in Dark Souls land and transform it back into a lush paradise. Oh, that'd be great. Especially if it's like right after the end of one of the games where they like, they, they keep things from falling apart, which I, I know it's like literally the point of the game. But the more I learn about Dark Souls, the more I'm like, man, why do they bother Relighting the fire or whatever and continuing this age that fucking sucks and everybody hates living in. Yeah. I mean, if I had to continually go through cycles of horrible, horrible, horrible awfulness, wow, she died there. Unbelievably did. <laughs> and then she'll wake up in the sacred realm and go, wow, I can't believe you saved me. And we're just Thanks, like, sacred? And we're just like, oh. Um, yeah. And she's like, God, just for that, I'm going to give you a blowjob. And he's like, yeah, I totally saved you. Never seen anyone as saved as you are. Hey, hey, future Eric, the next time we're in the sacred realm, can you, like, at 10% opacity, put a picture of, of Sacred's face there? <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh, I was just, try I was just trying kind to of like, be behind each of the sages. <laughs> Directly on their face. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's my favorite drumstick boss. Your favorite drumstick boss? Yeah, so, uh, spoiler alert for this boss battle that we're about to do. Uh, when they combine into one, and mm -hmm. she starts, like, using her brooms as, like, wands, mm -hmm. I swear she says drumsticks when she, like, throws an attack at us. Interesting, I'll have to, to and, listen out for that. Man, speaking of when they fuse into one... Uh-huh. Wood? Wood. Yeah. No. For for as wooden as they are currently. I know, right? I mean, it's probably gonna be that she doesn't even say anything that remotely remotely sounds as drumstick, but because when I played this game as a kid, I just put it in there probably to amuse myself. Fair though. I'm gonna be like, oh well, I guess she doesn't. That's fair. Man, speaking of uh, games we played as kids, you know what game we should play on the show soon? What? Amongst the 8,000 other games we're currently playing and want to play soon. What's that? Donkey Kong 64. Okay. Can you play it? Well, yeah. Okay. No, I'm going to make you play it. Well, listen. After my stunning run on Banjo. <laughs> yeah, I've been stunned. A lot of people have. Ian... Ian thinks that I'm a big, bad, not good banjo player. Yeah, he does. In his defense, you've seen your gameplay. In my defense, I've played my gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> but he still loves you. You're his amigo. Yeah. I'm his Commodore Amiga? Or whatever <laughs> fucking company made that? Uh... I don't remember. The only Commodore I can remember is the Commodore 64. You were really blowing this pedal. I know! <laughs> I think you gotta Z-target him a little bit harder. Do I? Yeah, I think you gotta aim at one... Oh, is he target the other one? Yeah. It didn't work. Maybe if I do it a little better this time. Yeah. I think the thing is, once they start, like, charging it up, you don't, like, don't move anymore. Because then the, the beam... Well, <laughs> I mean, obviously there you probably should have dodged that well, one. Well, maybe you should eat a dick! Maybe. Gotta have more experiences in life, bro. How can you live your whole life and not be able to say at the end of it, yeah, I sucked a dick at least one time. From the guy who won't eat an apple. Yeah? You, I'm not sure what the correlation there is. You're missing out on the experience of eating an apple. Yeah, but I'm not missing out on the experience of sucking a dick. Okay. So when I die, I won't have to say that specifically. I'm just have to say I didn't eat an apple. Wow. I moved. I've learned things that I didn't know. Did you? Yeah, I didn't know you blew someone. Yeah. That's okay, Sacred also learned that on the show during Hitman. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do anything else? No. Happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month, everybody! Yeah, no, it's one of those things. It's like, how do you how do you bring that up in casual conversation unless it's on your Let's Play show? <laughs> I don't know. Like, what did you expect me to do? Go on Discord and be like, hey guys, just need you to know. What the fuck? I was pointing straight at that! I don't know. <laughs> uh... I mean, I, I may not amuse anyone else, but by God, I amuse myself. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole thing about when you're doing things for... What, what's the thing that you say? An audience of one? Yeah. Yeah. This is in case that's not clear, because I think people... Certain people in my life have taken that really literally. That is not actually true. I'm not only trying to play to myself, but man, I'm just the easiest audience I know how to please. Of course. Oh, it's time to get serious! Yeah, it is. It's time for the double dynamite attack. God damn. I love that she like winks at you. What if we just pull our dick out right now? Do you think this would change the course of this battle? Maybe. Wait, we'll help contribute to the next Gerudo King. <laughs> but that won't be for a hundred more. Shh, 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 shh. Don't worry. I ain't gonna live for a long time. Yeah. I hope she doesn't shoot ice at you this time. Okay. Maximum power! Get fucked! If I remember how to do the stabby thing for sure, I'd do the stabby thing and it'd kill her super fast, but I don't really remember. Also... Yeah, she says nothing. <laughs> so I just at some point started imagining that she says drumstick. Drumstick! In, in my head it's always been... Drumstick! Drumstick! Ah, uh, so in your head it was just a little bit racist, huh? I guess. I don't know, man. She was just- she was rolling the R in it for sure. Oops. Oops, you missed. Oops. I missed. My bad. I did not mean to miss, but I did. Yeah. It's fine. It's all good. You Come know, on, bro, throw, when you're right, another you're right. fire. Hell yeah. What? I'm just trying to, like, think through my entire life. Why did I attach her saying drumstick? I have no idea. Is it because in my stupid little kid brain, I looked at her brooms and they just vaguely... thought they were drumsticks? Yeah, vaguely was reminded of the ice cream cone drumsticks, which Possibly. I don't like. Same. Hell yeah. It's weird. I've seen people say that, like, which attack she throws out is completely random this mm -hmm. whole fight. But I'm pretty sure, or at least in my experience, especially just now, 
That doesn't really seem to be the case. See, I think she randomizes it at some point during this phase. Maybe. Like, like there. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what they're talking about. But I was like, because I could have sworn at the beginning of the fight, she literally always just threw three of the same thing in a row. Yeah. And then if you catch them all, you're good. And if you don't, uh, then she starts throwing the other one. Yeah. Well, that's two. But will she throw an ice this time? She didn't. Get fucked, loser! Stab her! Stab her in Oops. her giant boobies! <laughs> oh my. Don't mind if I do. It's where her heart is. <gasps> That's what I want to get to! Yeah. Her Oops. boobies! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not made of stone, man. Same. If you have gigantic boobies, uh, call me. Well, don't call me because you don't have my phone number. DM me on Twitter. My DMs are always open. Specifically, DM me pictures of giant boobies. See, I'm not a picky man. Um, any size is a prize. That's fair. I mean, yeah, don't be afraid, even if they're not uh, giant boobies. But I'm, to still I'm also send not to me. asking or soliciting anyone for... Yeah, he's, for... he's soliciting for you to send them to me. I don't know and about that. And if they're really good and you send me an, a message to say, forward this to Crandon, I'll forward it to Crandon. Um, please also make sure that you are an adult and not a minor. Yes. But if you're if you're a minor and you're watching our show... Don't. Go tell your parents. <laughs> you are so grounded. <laughs> right? What are you doing watching us? We said... We, we say words that <laughs> get episodes <laughs> demonetized. <laughs> And we say them a lot. And we say them at the very beginning of the episode. Yeah. Over and over. And we make multi-episode long jokes about Koga jacking us <laughs> off at light speed. Well, we don't. Well, yeah, we don't. The royal we. Ah, yes. Pretty sure is uh, the king of Shelflandia only I'm supposed to use that. And the court jester gets his his pass because he <laughs> pleases the king. Oh my! Not that way. Oh, uh, I'm just 380 years old. Really makes you <laughs> wonder how long people in this universe live for. Uh, I think they live a really really long time, specifically because they've got magic. Yeah, but like. Impa in Breath of the Wild, spoilers for Breath of the Wild, she's more than like a hundred years old in that game. True. I'll come back to hunt you. Okay. Bye. Where there it is. I was just about to panic, but there's no need to panic. Panic! There's no need to panic. Panic. There's no need to panic. Pan fry. Maybe. I could go for some fried eggs and some rice. Hell yeah, me too. Except for not fried eggs. Scrambled eggs, right? Yeah. yeah. See, you know things about me. Of course I do. Cranon was just apologizing to me earlier today because he's not known what I went to college for for 10 years. Yeah. More than 10 years. I know. Well, yeah. And I learned it... <laughs> Because he and Sacred were talking about it. <laughs> On the show. Yep. And if you didn't know, Eric went to college for poli sci. It's true. And I went to college for pre -med. poli sci Marie. And as you can tell, we belt we both definitely stuck with it, <laughs> made and millions use it of every dollars. Day. Yeah. Yeah. And now after I died, I'm going to fight as one of the six sages. <laughs> now that I'm dead, I really don't have anything better to do, so... No, Squills, the hero of time. I give you this medallion. Yeah, could you keep the medallion and maybe fulfill your promise? I don't know, maybe? You For haven't no played Tears reason. of the Kingdom, so you're not True. familiar with some of its mechanics. Do you think they they repurposed some of the ideas from this game for that game? I since have no idea. Well, you get sage abilities in it. Spoiler alert. Probably. 
it's a, it's at least on the table. Yeah. Because I've heard people say stuff. Of course, I don't know where they got the information from, so who knows if it's accurate or not. But uh, I've heard people say stuff that suggests that at one point you were supposed to be able to use the medallions for something. Yeah. So I could definitely see it being that. Well, because there's apparently data still in the game attached to the medallions for things that they should have been doing. Ah. Uh. Because, like, the the Earth medallion from the Gorons was supposed to give you some, like, shockwave attack. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. D I forget, because I watched some YouTube video about it. And how they had tried to restore functionality to them. Pardon me. Uh, I'm just burping up the delicious lunch of buffalo that we had. Buffalo? If you want to refund me my money for overcooking my wings... Yeah. It's $30. Exactly. I mean, not for one thing of wings. That was our, both of our entire meals, but yeah, still. Because they had a great Plus lunch did. special. They did. And the first person to ever tell me about it... Because <laughs> they constantly asked me, Oh, do you want fries with that? And it's like, no. Well, I don't think but it's available it was after... Less, 3 p.m. or something like that. Well, no, but I've been up there numerous times during the right time period. Oh. And I know what you're thinking. C couldn't you have just looked at the menu and seen it yourself? Yeah. Probably. I could have. But why would I do that if I already know what I want? Fair. That's why I try and look at the menu every time I go to a restaurant to try new things. Except for when I'm scared. Yeah, I feel that. That's me all the time. Because there, there's a Chinese food restaurant in the town that I live in uh, that has Mapo Tofu, and I really, really want to try it, but I'm scared that I'm going to hate it. It's understandable. I also think uh, I would be scared that I would hate it because I hate everything. You don't hate everything. And everyone! That's not true. No, it is. I hate everything and everyone. Good to know. Especially Texas Governor Greg Abbott. Me too. <laughs> Craig Abbott, DNI. <laughs> Craig Abbott, if you see me on Grinder, don't message me. <laughs> Man, did you see where Ben Shapiro told it on himself recently? No, what did he do? He shared some setting from his phone, but he didn't crop out his most used app being Grinder with like. <laughs> 580, like, gigs attached Jesus to it. Jesus Christ. It was, it was some ridiculous amount of information. That's really funny. And now there's going to be a comment where it's like, actually, that was faked. It's just like, okay, well. If it, even if it is, it's still funny. Yeah. I know the whole all homophobes are secretly gay thing is also homophobic. But specifically, super homophobic people getting caught or I guess jokingly being caught as the case may be. Mm -hmm. Still classic comedy, right? Right. I like, don't get me wrong. I don't necessarily think people should be outed when they don't want to be. But sometimes, if you're really, really bad, yeah. I don't feel that bad for you if it does happen. If you've spent your whole career trying to undermine the people that you are a part of, Maybe I don't feel so bad when people point and laugh that, oh, actually, you are one of those people. Now, if you want to change your life and start working towards the benefit of, of people, you know, then that's a different story. You just got to come to terms with yourself. Exactly. Realize your destiny. Go suck some dicks on Grinder. Mm-hmm. It'll change your life. Will it? Did uh, it my change life yours? I'm say, yeah, my life is almost exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but who knows? It could change your life, Crandon. I doubt it. Uh, probably not, but it could. <gasps> Sheik is Zelda? <gasps> no fucking way. I can't believe it. That can't be. They have different eye colors. And Sheik's a dude. Where did your penis go? <laughs> Link's just like, oh, but I thought I was gonna get, I thought I was gonna blow Sheik. And Zelda's <laughs> just like, I mean, you can still get down on your knees. It's like, yeah, but I'm really, 
I'm just not into you that way. No offense. I mean, you're you're beautiful and all. What if I wear a strap on? I'm in. <laughs> uh, look at this thing that happened. Yeah, remember that? Yep. Literal minutes ago. Sure. Some number of minutes ago. <laughs> I don't know how many it was that we played that part. Uh, Ganondorf could never enter the sacred realm. Something I never expected to happen happened. We opened the door and then he walked in like it was some kind of invitation. Yeah. Even though it totally wasn't. We as small children made a decision to open a realm <laughs> where one of the most magical artifacts in our universe exists. And it didn't work out perfectly. Yeah. Now granted, it didn't work out as terribly as it could have. How do you think Zelda, after such a bot's plan, got the Triforce of Wisdom? <laughs> because she's the reincarnation of Hylia. True. And like, when you look at Nintendo's official timeline, this being one of the earlier games in the series, and if you go with the thought process that each incarnation is better than the last, that's why she fumbled so hard. That's fair. Man, she really fumbled. Yeah. <laughs> Big time. Just like when that Super Bowl fumble happened that lost a game. True. Probably. Just like that Super Bowl fumble that definitely happened. I mean, I'm sure you could point at basically any of the recent Super Bowls and been like, oh yeah, that team fumbled. And I mean, it lost them the game. I mean, yeah, maybe. I don't know. If you're a sports fan out there and you want to correct me in the comments, go ahead. If you, to, if you want to leave, like, five comments uh, correcting that are all five-page essays... If you want to leave our video in a sports subreddit where you make fun of us for not knowing <laughs> about sports, that's cool, too. Man, you know what the last uh, football thing I watched was? What? Uh, the Super Bowl halftime show where they had Dr. Dre. Yeah? I didn't even watch that live. I watched it on YouTube way after the fact. Hell that's yeah. That's the most recent football anything I've seen. Fair. I saw, I see bits and pieces of games in the break room at work. Damn, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I, mean, I can't say anything. I like football, but I don't like it enough to actually sit down and watch it. Same. Especially since, like, YouTube constantly is sending me emails where it's like, jump in now, only $160 <laughs> for the whole NFL season. And I'm like, dog, I would rather, like, pick it up for free on, like, cable airwaves. True. Then spend $160 to not be able to watch football because I work on Sundays. <laughs> you not get, like, replays of the games or something? Eh. I don't know. I don't sports. That's fair. And the only sports that really happens in my apartment are, uh, some of my roommates watch, uh, not American football, but football. Damn, I'm sorry to hear that. They they really like it, and I sat and watched a match with them last year, year before last, and it was good. It it's definitely got a similar appeal to American football. Um, it's just sports aren't my thing. <gasps> oh yeah, we haven't been to Hyrule <laughs> Castle yet. Oh yeah, it's pretty fucked up now for some reason. <laughs> I just like to imagine Link has just not paid attention. He's just like, <laughs> put his hand up. It's like, we don't have time to deal with that yet. And he gets here and he's just like, what happened to Hyrule Castle? Whoa. Man, honestly, where did it go? Um, Into the giant lava pool? That or Ganon used magic to reforge the castle into this one. I suppose that could be... We're oh, yeah, the bridge! Yeah! The bridge that they improved drastically in Ocarina of Time 3D, apparently, I guess. Because yeah. now it has guide rails. Yeah. I mean, yes and no. Like, it looks more fantastical in the 3DS version, but, like, who the fuck cares? Fine. This is fine. Yeah. Happy Pride, everyone! <laughs> Happy Pride. I do. That's always been my favorite part of that cutscene where Link is like, kind of got one foot on it. Like, holy shit. 
looking down in the lava like, I can stand on this? Yeah, I would definitely not be as confident as Link. Of course, I also don't have the Triforce of Courage. Same. So, like, of course I wouldn't be as courageous as he is. Stop dropping him like that. Throw him at the guy. Why not just run through the door? Why not eat a dick again? Uh, because I'm not hungry. Damn. You were just saying you wanted food. Yeah. I mean, admittedly, those two things are not the same. As someone who regularly eats food when I'm not hungry. Yeah. Have you ever considered that I eat food sometimes because I'm depressed? Yes. But I try to pretend like you're not depressed because you being depressed really depresses me. Well, I'm sorry, bro, but that is the fact of the matter. I got that official diagnosis. True. Very sorry to hear that. Eh. I mean, so that that was another thing that you and Saker talked about where you were like, I don't think I would ever want to know or get diagnosed for any of the things wrong with me because it would make me upset. Oops. And I get where you're coming from, but at the same time... The thought of knowing what's wrong with me so that I can take steps to fix that uh, is is a welcomed one to me. Damn. You walked through that. That was fucking stupid. Yeah. Happens to the best of us, though. Me, just now. Yeah. Oops, pardon Pardon. I need a pardon. I've committed lots of crime. Yes. We've killed so many people. Sure, you could call them enemies of the state. Which I do, of course. That's a <laughs> see official report uh, to Zelda every time I finish a dungeon. Yep, I eliminated 50 enemies of the state. I can't hit it. You're not going to spin attack it? I can't hit it. It's impossible. Fine. It didn't work this time. Oh, there it goes. Hooray! I got it! Yeah! Oh, I already had some of those guys. You sure did. Shittlesticks! This is an outrage! I deserve better! And more! Give me more better bomb shoes! Gimme, give gimme give more. Gimme give more. Demi Moore. Yeah. Everyone's favorite celebrity, who I definitely know literally anything that they've ever done. You know what I know about them? What's that? There was a time when they were really popular on the internet for having um, Bush. Interesting. Hmm. What's your opinions on that? <laughs> Not specifically on Demi Moore's, but... Well, yeah, let's say. Uh, fair question. Um, I prefer no Bush, but I don't like... I'm not bothered by Bush. Oh, I got it right the first time, actually. You sure bad. did. See, to me, it's a fine line. Mm -hmm. Because I love the way they look. But there becomes a point, just like anything, where sometimes it's... It needs just a little bit of trimming. Understandable. But, I don't know. I mean, listen, here's the thing, right? If you're offering, I'm not just gonna be like, sorry, you took your pants off and the, you know. Exactly, like. There's a jungle down there, so I'm just gonna go. I'm, I'm absolutely not, like, if you were kind enough uh, to agree to have relations with me, I'm not gonna <laughs> be like, stand. what? <laughs> Stan? Yeah. Who's Stan? From American Dad. Oh. Listen, it's fine. Continue. I don't know. <laughs> Besides, it's kind of mm -hmm. hot. Yeah? Yeah. Like, rip to, our, uh, rip to our friends in Brazil who can no longer access Twitter because uh, Musk is a fucking moron. True. Uh, and everyone is shocked to hear it. Yeah. But that uh, that that arc trend very very recently. Uh, you should probably do this one last because you need the the other gloves for that. Ah, fuck! I thought this is where the other gloves were. I don't. I don't remember for sure. I don't either. I thought they were in the purple Oops. one. Someone fell. Yeah, not us though. 
No, nah, couldn't be. We weren't in that room. No, I never even seen that room, actually. Um, but one of the latest art trends where it started with Brazilian Miku. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then they just drew, like, multinational versions of Hatsune Miku. But one of the Mikus included some some boosh. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> like, she wasn't nude. It was just projecting up and out of the small shorts she was wearing. Ah. Uh. As many people on the internet who fetishize things like to do. True. Hey, who am I to judge people who fetishize things on the internet? Yeah. If you fetishize things on the internet and they're not super weird, uh, send them to me on Twitter. <laughs> and I'll judge uh, your fetish for you on a scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> when When is that episode of On the Shelf Gaming coming out? The On the Shelf Gaming King. Fetish tier list? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Never, I hope. I think you gotta. I think if you shoot that with a fire arrow, it will produce uh, platforms. I think that you think correctly, maybe. Hooray! Crandon's a genius. I wouldn't go that far. I would. Don't lose your shield to this like like. I would never. Also, I can't. Like likes are way more interesting to fight in in Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, yeah. and everything better in Tears of the Kingdom. I would say every everything. other Zelda game ever because every other Zelda game sucks in comparison. Because Tears of the Kingdom is the best one ever now. I don't agree with that. <laughs> like Tears of the Kingdom fixes basically every problem that I had with Breath of the Wild. Um, it's interesting too because lots of people said that when it was brand new. Yeah. But I'm seeing more and more people now who are like, no, actually, Tears of the Kingdom is just worse. Breath of the Wild. See, that's the thing to me is it seems like the internet has really gotten on this thing where something comes out and they critically acclaim it, and then like six months go by, and then they go, actually, this game was dog shit. Yeah. And it's like, guys, you're allowed to like things continuously, like. You're also allowed to dislike things, but it doesn't mean that if you if you found things in the time since Oops. that you don't like as much, it doesn't like make the game horrible dog shit. I don't know, man. It could. I mean, it, it could do it. It could, depending it on could what it is. It could ruin everything. But like, in unless like you're just like, I think that the more structured uh, Zelda like. Uh, temples in Tears of the Kingdom makes it a worse game. I I think you're a belly aching baby. Well, that is pretty shitty of you to say about people, but I respect the opinion anyway because I respect people. That is true. That is one thing that they say on the internet is all all respecting people, Eric, or respecting people in Utsu. Yeah, yeah. No one is ever like man. How the fuck does he get away with saying those things that he says all the time about everyone everywhere? Yeah. Not even a little bit. Is there a path to your left Oops. that takes you? Yeah. I just, I caught the edge of it as you fell that last time. I mean, yeah, we saw it, but it was slower, so we didn't want to go that way. But if you're going to twist my arm. Well, listen, man. This is minute like five of you falling into the void in this in this room. No, incorrect. Uh huh. Incorrect. Sure. You were wrong, and not only you're wrong, you're not right either. Okay. So incorrect you are. Bam. Hmm. The power of light. We can do anything. I can go for some bonbons right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what those big orbs look like. <laughs> they look like bonbons. Yeah. Sweet, delicious. Are you sure you're not just secretly hungry and you lied to me just a minute ago? Uh, I mean, so yes, I could eat again, but I shouldn't because I'm still quite full. It's yeah. just like you. I don't eat when I, or I don't eat necessarily because I'm hungry. I eat because I want to, to eat to distract my. I brain. love eating. God. Uh, food. Uh, yeah. Eating! You know, my favorite uh, thing recently is uh, the grocery chain that I work for has started carrying Tony's chocolate, which if you've never had, is some of the best chocolate I've ever had. Hell yeah. Never even heard of it, actually. The, the only thing that I don't like about Tony's is 
they do fun geometrical shapes on their chocolate bars. Mm -hmm. But like, you know how a Hershey's bar is built to break off little pieces. Right. All of the Tony's bar pieces are different shapes and different amounts of chocolate. And so when I'm trying to get pieces of them to enjoy them, sometimes I get way more than I bargained for. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. That's brutal, man. You've got my sympathy with your chocolate bars. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm over here with no chocolate bars. Okay. I mean, I brought beef jerky. I don't think we can make this show together (laughs) anymore. I think there's a clear disconnect between the hosts that is not reconcilable in any way, shape, or form. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, I'm alive. But uh, in my contract, it says we're doing this till we're 90. (laughs) Well, I'm breaking the contract. What's the buyout fee? Uh, four point five million dollars. All right, welcome to the new uh, episode of On the Show of Gaming, the show that will never ever die <laughs> unless one of us does beforehand. Even then, who knows? Eric, I have bad news. Huh? I didn't hit start on the timer. God damn you! There's still twenty minutes left in this episode. It says. I I don't know. <laughs> We've been doing this episode. I don't know. I'll probably go for like. Five more minutes. Yeah, probably. That'll be plenty or too much or not enough. Because I kept sitting there thinking, like, man, I haven't felt my stupid thing go off in a while. Yeah, same, bro. But, uh, you know. We're I professional do. Let's Players. Extraordinary! It's us. On the Shelf Gaming! <sighs> And if you want to hear more of Eric singing, go to the BLG Discord. <laughs> the BLG Discord is not public. It's not. You have to pay $5. But. True. Go woke. Go broke. Support BLG. Exactly. Give them money. Patreon.com forward slash Born Losers Gaming. Exactly. The ultimate place to give money. If you want to support us, you can support them. Support me supporting them. Give them all your money. Maybe not all your money, a responsible amount of your money. If you feel like maybe you can't afford it, have you ever heard give until it hurts? I I don't think this is sound advice. How are you ever going to go woke and broke if you don't support BLG to the fullest? You know, I was just thinking that, but I can't even go uh, out anymore because of broke. If, if for those of you uninitiated, the that was one of them stupid because of woke ge- uh, jokes. But I yeah. changed woke into broke. Yeah, you did because I'm poor. Yeah, you are. Yeah, even though Pory McPorrington over here. Technically, I am the rich friend. Somehow. True, I'm the poorest friend there is. <laughs> that is true. My household income is less than Sacred or Crandon's. Yes. And yet I still manage to support my lavish lifestyle. What's my secret? Credit cards. Man, speaking of lavish lifestyles, it's going to take everything in me not to get up tomorrow and drive down to Plano to mm-hmm. go to the Stonebriar Mules Mall mm-hmm. to see if they've got one of the Lego Legend of Zelda sets. Because I don't need oh. to spend $300 on Legos. Uh, yeah, probably not the best possible idea. But I want it. Oh, fuck it. I've wanted Lego Zelda since I was six years old playing (laughs) Ocarina of Time. Yeah. And wouldn't you know, part of the set is the Deku Tree and (laughs) Leaf's home from Ocarina of Time. Hell yeah. Bro, you gotta go get it. It's only $300. Yeah. What is $300 in comparison to a lifetime of eternal happiness? I mean... They say money doesn't buy happiness, but it buys security, and it also buys experiences, which make a happier life. True. And I want to experience buyer's remorse for buying the the expensive uh, Zelda Lego set. True. God, Cranon gets it in a way that no one else in life gets it. Yeah. Listen, I, I was born in the country of unfettered capitalism, so if I want to feed the economy by making bad decisions and buying things that I don't need. That's my God-given right as an American. It sure is. Oops. Not that Greg Abbott would know anything about that. 
He's not American yeah. or God. He doesn't want Americans who have been wrongly injured to make money so that they can stimulate the economy. He's a fucking communist. <laughs> I always suspected, but I never had the proof until just now. I'd say I can't believe he was a filthy commie this whole time, but I can, and I do. Me too. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, that was really funny. You're really funny? I don't think I am. Well, fuck you. You are. And everyone agrees with me. In the comments, on the Shelf Gaming question of the day, who's the funniest on the Shelf Gaming member and why is it Crandon? I don't think it's me. I also don't think it's sacred. Aw, oh, thanks, buddy. I mean, I agree. I also don't think it's sacred. <laughs> it's not that hey, he's have you not ever heard funny. that guy's jokes? Yeah. Honestly, you know who the funniest uh, members of On The Shelf Gaming are? Ian and Casey. Kyle and Kyle. <laughs> You're right, Kyle! Don't forget to watch Kyle Simulator! Only on On The Kyle Gaming! Yeah! So it's nice to meet you, Kyle. I wasn't here when the other Kyle was here making Kyle, Kyle, Kyleton. Man, you really missed out, Kyle. But don't worry, because you too can have your own Kyle Let's Play show. Exactly. On the Kyle tube. Where, where we drink monsters and punch walls and drive... Drive the Carlmobiles. Yeah, drive the Carls through the walls. <laughs> By listening to KCDC. Because that's what the K stands for. Kyle, next time on the Shelf, Shelf Gaming. Gaming. I mean, on the Kyle Gaming, that's what I meant to say. Fuck, the walls do there. What do we do? <laughs> well, we're going to go take care of the blue and the yellow one. I need to take care of something. Okay. It's the blue and the yellow one.